Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So I thought for today we would just try and get in a little bit of trouble using the new rental system. I've got my sim here, her name is Mara. She lives in a two unit rental residential lot. So she has this little apartment here and then across the hallway is her landlord's house. So it's pretty small. And I thought today we would see how we get on with breaking every single rule. So if I go to my tenancy agreement, it shows, this is my landlord by the way, Wayne Wheatley, he lives next door. Every single rule is active and there are quite a lot of fines. Social events, loud noises, maximum occupancy, no trash overload, no pets and no ghosts. So I can get fined for any one of these things and my goal for today is to see if I can break every single one of these rules. As you can see from my household funds, I don't have enough money to pay all of those fines. But I'm just gonna see how that plays out. Because they can't take money that's not there, can they? So I think to start off with, maybe let's just try and... Let's break an easy rule, which is the pet one. No animals. So if I go to adopt a cat, let's see if that will get me in trouble. I don't know whether... Because this is, this is the first time me doing this, I don't know whether the game just recognises that a rule has been broken or whether the landlord has to actually see. This one's quite cute. Let's go for this one. Sue me. And I'll say that to the landlord when he complains. Sue me. Okay, well, I've just technically adopted a cat. Here's my adoption agent. Where's the cat? Oh, okay. Friendly introduction. I also wonder whether it will act kind of like how the unjustly evict function acts. You do get a fine, but it takes a while. It takes a few days before you actually get fined. So I don't know if it'll be like an instant telling off, an instant fine, or whether it'll just pop up after a few days. I guess we'll see. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes, I am sure. We'll give the cat a different surname. Stevenson, there we go. Aww. Tenant rule violation. Okay, so th yeah, that was immediate. That critter added to the Forsyth household sure is a real cutesy fluffy wuffy, but it's also a complete violation of the strict of the strict yes. no pets rule. Expect to pay a fine of 1,000 simoleons to the property owner, or you may face more serious consequences. Well, I may as well buy some cat stuff. I'm gonna have even less money for fines after I buy all my cat stuff. I don't think my cat needs a bed though. They've got they've got that bed, so I'll just get them a, like a little toy or something. There we go, squeaky toys, perfect. Rule broken. Okay, I also can't have social events or loud noises after 10 p.m. So what I might do, seeing as it's still only the daytime, is I might just plan a social event. Although I don't know anybody, I need to. Hmm. Okay, I better go out, actually. I better see if I can meet some other sims. And then immediately invite them over for a party. Ha! Huh. Wait, wait, I'm gonna stay. Hold on. The property owner is arriving to discuss some violations from the tenant agreement. Okay, I'll hang on for a second just to see what the sitch is with this guy. Invite in. Come on in, Wayne. He's swearing. He looks kind of pissed off. What's up, Wayney boy? Eviction avoided. The Forsyth household was caught violating the tenant agreement. This time is only a warning, but they might not be so lucky next time. Next time a rule is broken or rent is overdue. Reach out to your property owner and choose to pay the fine for any broken rules or overdue rent before they evict your household. Oh, shit. Okay, so basically what this is telling me is <laughs> if I don't pay him, then he's just going to evict me. And I don't want to be evicted oh, before I get the yeah, chance yeah. to break every rule. So... Although, the welcome wagon's here, and for once I actually embrace it, I can introduce myself to all of them. Ugh, I might just have to cheat myself some money then, because I don't want to get evicted. Pay fine, discuss rule change. Oh, okay. Well, so we've, we've kind of answered one question. If we don't have the money, then we're just going to get evicted, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to give myself the money to pay off this fine. Pay the fine, and then next time, there you go, take your money. Take your money and fuck off. I wonder if it still shows up as broken rule. No, it's gone back to that. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, I am going to end the welcome wagon and then I'm going to throw a social event, house party. Well, seeing as the, um, the rule broken that was red turned into green again, I'm now thinking I might try and avoid throw. I'll invite the landlord to the social event. He can't be annoyed at me then. Have it at my place. Tenant rule violation, okay. This unit is a strict no party zone and you've breached the sanctity by daring to host an event. Take that party elsewhere. Expect to pay a fine of 600 simoleons to the property owner. Right, let me see what else I can break while I'm here. Um, no loud noises, so I can do that after 10 p.m. Four sims in one household violates the maximum occupancy rule, okay. Trash overload. 
Well, I think the best way to do that is if I just serve a load of meals and then just keep putting them in the trash, I guess. Where else can I get a load of trash? Unless I had a baby that I'd constantly change oh, their nappy. Or, oh wait, I can't interact with that trash can. Okay, so that serving has put a little bit of trash in there. So I think maybe like five servings will probably do the trick. And then I'll queue up another garden salad after this one. Okay, let's stick that in the trash can. Getting a little bit more full, still a little way to go, but we'll get there with hard work and determination to break the rules. Okay, house party is over. My land, hopefully my landlord had a good time. On the bright side, we are gonna have like such a high cooking skill when this is over. Oh, the cat's eating the salad. Sumi, come on, you've got your food. Um, I should probably get a stereo so that I can blast some music because we're getting into the evening now. Move these cat toys over here. Yeah, I want to make sure I've got music blaring at like 11. Perfect. Okay, this trash can thing is taking quite a while. Oh, wait, what's uh, what's the violation, the violation now? Silence and solitude in the order of day. The house no, have violated no, yeah. all peace and quietude in the, with their noisy nuisances. Wait, I didn't even play any music that time. Oh, because the TV is on and the rule is no TV after 10. That's a bit harsh. Okay, well, we've broken the no loud noises and it looks like Wayne is uh, changing his look to more of a gangster look to try and collect his money. Oh, Wayne. No, don't take the trash out. Don't take the trash out. What are you doing? Put it down. Back in the trash. We want that bin overflowing. The property owner is arriving to discuss some violations from the tenant agreement. I am not going to let you in, Wayne. You're going to have to stand there and sulk, man. I'm not going to let you in until I've broken every single rule, so... You're just gonna have to think about it. I might save my progress here actually, just in case I get evicted for not letting him in and then I can just pick up from from this spot here. Okay, the trash can is starting to get full. Okay, good. Okay, trash is overflowing, perfect. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna get in trouble for that. I'm gonna go ahead and adopt another pet because um, I, I'm not happy that that rule violation just went away. So for the sake of having more of a neater look, I'm just gonna violate that rule again. <laughs> this time we'll get Rainbow. And maybe because I've got one boy, one girl, maybe we'll end, they'll end up having a litter of kittens. Oh, is that Rainbow? Oh, she's only a baby. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I worked hard to get that there. Reset object, fuck off my trash. Oh, it's gone down now. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and adopt that cat. I can't believe you. Leave. Get out of here. You totally ruined all of that hard work I put into overflowing my trash can. Look at it now. It's pathetic. I haven't had that turn red yet again. It does say accumulating trash piles, which kind of makes me feel like maybe I should just drop the trash on the floor. Oh, there we go. Tenant rule violation. Okay. So we have got the pet one now. Ah, Rainbow is a lazy cat. Wait, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that trash pile right there. So I'm just gonna serve a few more meals and try and get more like trash piles around the place. <laughs> He's so angry. Were you born in a barn? This place is supposed to be kept clean and the Forsyth household are ruining it for everyone. Expect to pay a fine. Okay, so that's four out of six rules that we've broken. So all I have to do is add three people to my household. And if I kill one of them, then that would break that rule as well. So I'm going to... Wait, focus the camera. Where are you? Oh, you're way too far away. Here is an elder sim and I could do Ooh. with an elder sim. Ooh, so I'm going to invite good. her over and then I'll go take a shit. The landlord is still standing at my door, so I kind of feel like I want to just avoid him. Okay, this elder sim, add to family. You, add to family. And then you, I think that's the pet adoption person. You, add to family. Okay, tenant rule violation. <laughs> Hold on a sec, four sims crammed into one household. No room for that many occupants. Expect to pay a fine of a thousand simoleons to the property owner or you may face more serious consequences. Okay, this is fantastic. So now all I have to do is have a ghost live here. And I think I know how to do that. Do you have any loves in your life? Or actually what I could do, seeing as now I have the money, I could buy a treadmill and I could sacrifice this poor old lady. 
Where can I put it? I'm kind of running out of room, really. Well, I don't need the stereo anymore. Okay, rage fueled. Just do a just do a workout on the treadmill. Beautiful. You'll be exhausted in no time. You're supposed to be a pre-made townie, and you've turned up wearing that. You weren't planned very well. Let me have a look at your outfits. Oh. Her outfits are planned, but for some reason she's wearing a dress, a hat with goggles. Okay. What do we have here? Dangerously tired from strenuous activity. Well, she doesn't seem to want to get on the treadmill again, but what if we do like a risque question? Okay, I think we just need to woo this sim. Her um, her uncomfortable mood buff is going to expire, but that's fine. All we have to do is just woohoo with the elder twice, and then she'll become a ghost. She's in a flirty mood, so this should be pretty easy. Oh, we had a great love day. Okay, it's a steamy exchange. We'll go in for our first kiss. Okay, they're having their first kiss. We could probably do two woohoos in a row. Woohoo. See, I've tested before how long it takes for an elder to die of overexertion, and they only have to woohoo twice. <laughs> it's like, that is it. Okay, woohoo again, now that you're dangerously tired after that exhilarating event. Okay, they're going again. Okay, here we go. Fatal overexertion. Um, hey Mara, maybe you should wake up because your lover's kind of dying right now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, under the bed as well. She's now part of the bed. And your response is to take a nap. Come on, Mara. At least I got some money. What was, it? What was that? Oh, no, that was just my other roommate from a day of work. But the good news is this will be the one last rule we have to break. Okay, here is her urn. So if I call forth ghost, there she is. And then if I add to family, okay. Well, we have a ghost living here. You can go possess some stuff if you like. Yeah, I mean, we have a ghost living here, but for some reason that doesn't seem to be recognized as a violation of the rules. What if the ghost calls forth a ghost? What will happen then? Will we end up with two ghosts? Oh, hang on. I just went into Manage Worlds to make sure that the ghost was actually living here. And then as I loaded up my game, I got a pop-up for every rule I've broken. And uh, one of them is here. The undead are not welcome in the Forsyth household. Expect to pay a fine of a thousand simoleons. So now I have broken every single rule. And I still haven't been evicted. I wonder if I go and... Um, if I visit my landlord's house, I wonder what will happen, because he's fucked off now. He's not standing outside my door. Maybe he's just completely given up. Knock on door. I could I complain. I'm going to complain about <laughs> rental conditions. <laughs> Listen, man, my house is filthy. There's junk all over the place. Pay fine for... Yeah, okay. Violated every single rule. You know what, though? I'm, I'm not going to pay my fine. If he was going to evict me, he would have evicted me by now. So I don't think there are any real consequences. I think earlier on in the video I got spooked that he would evict me immediately, but actually I think that pop-up is not to be taken seriously because he seems pretty chill that I'm living the way I'm living. So I'm going to say that there aren't any consequences to breaking every single rule. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.